Police investigating the murder of British MP Joe Cox say their main lines of inquiry are the suspect's mental health and his connections to domestic extremism. Hey guys, Blaze here. So I'm sure you all have heard about a British Labour Party member and a member of the Parliament she, by the name of Joe Cox who is, in, who is also in support of the vote remain in the EU. Who was recently murdered by a man by the name of Tommy Mayer. According to eyewitnesses, she was shot three times, once near the head, and stabbed multiple times, and a 77-year-old man was also stabbed trying to stop the crime. But however, many people on the regressive left, such as the Vote Remain people, began to exploit the tragic incident all over social media before she was dead by, by claiming that this was a right-wing terrorist attack, without holding any information over who or what the killer was. And the SPLC and all these other began to spread a lot of misleading information, such as, Far Right 1488 kills, it kills on Joe Cox. It's all lies. <clears throat> and they all claimed that they were, that he had shouted Britain first. But anyway, before she was murdered, before she even died, she was taken to the hospital in critical, like in critical condition. But a lot of leftists were already on social media calling this, exploiting this tragic incident claiming that this was right-wing terrorism way before she was even killed. Some eyewitness reports that said that the attacker, Tommy Mayer, had shouted Britain first while murdering her. Now, it has been revealed that the eyewitnesses who were actually on the scene of the murder heard no such thing, and they were actually on the scene when it happened, when the murder was taking place. Even many of them told the reporters that they did not hear Britain first being shouted anywhere. So then they began to talk to the neighbors and friends of Tommy Mayer, the people who knew him. And many of them have have told that Tommy Mayer has been under medication and being treated for his mental illness. And many others have said that he never had a political political mindset, nor was he affiliated in any political party or even expressed any interest in the EU referendum. Here's a quote from one of the neighbors, quote, I don't think he belonged to any political party, and I never heard him express any views about Europe or anything like that. There's little evidence that can indicate that this man had any ties to pro-Brexit right-wing extremist parties. There's literally zero evidence, yet the left and the entire media in Britain are claiming that this was a right-wing terrorist attack, despite the amount of evidence that debunked their claim. And another hypocrisy of the left is them claiming that the right are celebrating the death of Joe Cox, even though I have not seen that happen anywhere, to be honest, I have not seen that, even though Nigel Farage recently paid his respect. But yet, these are the same sadistic leftists who are celebrating on social media the day the British soldier, Lee Rigby, was decapitated in the streets by two African Muslim extremists in Woolwich. After Lee Rigby had been decapitated, many regressive leftists began to say he was an imperialist dog, he was a war criminal, he was a wanker and a cunt who deserved everything he got. My troops, my soldiers. And they even created a Facebook page somewhere in 2013 that was shut down later called Lee Rigby Deserved It. Now I expect this behavior coming from a bunch of Muslim extremists like Anjum Chowdhury, but these are coming from straight up indigenous British people who seem to hate themselves. Yet while they celebrate the death of an innocent man, they have the nerve to say that we don't value human life. Hashtag hypocrisy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Thank you for watching.